This is an ECU with the model number 16227797 BXUK. And I take this part. The CPU is the same as the ECU 411. You use the Motorola CPU and the access it to you need to use USB BDM and T. The pinout on the bottom here is almost identical to the ECU 411, but flipped. Okay, so the picture on the 411 is this side. But the DSO and DSI pins are here. So this wire is connect to the W pin of the the flash. So in order to erase it, we need to pull this high. And here is the here is the power supply. Uh, this, this is ground, and this is the 12 volt. I'm using this adjustable power supply, and which can also monitor the um, the amperage. So to pull this high, I'm going to connect one side. to the WP pin and the other side. Let's say this, okay. Connect the side to this pin and the other side to 12 volt. Okay, to connect this one, BDM and pin one is connected to red here. And we can connect the USB here. And if we give the power Make sure there's no nothing touched. So twelve volt and three hundred milliamps. So have this connected and the BDM software started. So power on the unit and you can see three hundred and seventy sixty milliamps. And now we can go here and hit detect using the target as ECU 411. Okay, so we see we were able to detect the flash properly. So the ECU 411 XML is fully compatible with this unit. And let's read it and verify the data. Read twice. And it seems to be okay. And these data looks legit. So let's save it and call backup one. And now let's try to erase the flash and we, we need to pull this high, okay? So I have this 150 ohm resistor, pull this pin to 30, uh, 12 volts. So let's erase it. You will notice the very first few sectors very slow, so don't be uh, to worry about, it will eventually pass over. Yeah, now it start erasing, you can see the progress bar. Okay, uh, I have emptied the code base and see data is erased or not. Looks like this, so let's put it back in. And you can use the right button here, but this will do erase one more time and to save time of 30 seconds, I just type S program code. And this way we skip the erase process and just direct start programming.
now we can verify if the data program is okay and it is so you can see with the usb bdmt hookup of this device is quite easy and it's really fast to do the backup and programming as long as you have a good connection and proper uh, setup it will be quite easy